Howdy folks. Just wanted to do a quick walk around of this Kuhn 17012 tether we have. This is already the start of second crop we have out here, but we used it for all the first crop. Works pretty darn good. Just wanted to do a quick walk around, show you how some of the stuff is hooked up. There's only one set of remotes needed to run it. And they got them labeled power, and I believe this one is tape for the turn line. And then you got your your cable going up to the drain box up there. And you got your electrical plug, 1,000 PTO. Um, yeah, it works pretty darn good. To unfold it, there is some transport locks down here and they're spring loaded so you put in transport position basically put the hydraulics in float and then those springs make sure it stays locked in um, so when he's gonna start unfolding it that's the first thing that I guess there must be a little hydraulic piston somewhere yep just a little tiny thing under there that pushes that plate forward. Um, yeah. And then it's gonna pivot all the way open back here. And I guess we'll just watch it. Give him the thumbs up and he's gotta energize all this stuff first. And there's a green light that pops up on the display letting you know that you ready to turn that dial and then you turn the dial in the cab and it starts unfolding this way and you'll eventually see that the whole machine tips back quite a bit when that gets past center and now he turns the dial one more quick and uses the same remote lever get all the way down and the side ones start going off. And that click you heard when it was going down is the one of the locks that keeps the whole thing straight when you go to headwind lift. And this last little bit, that side went down quick. This side's been slow. It's not hydraulic this last little bit. There's just like um, a shock I guess would be would be the best word to describe it a shock that just slowly it'll go either way following the ground tour but um, and now he's doing the headland lift so across the whole width of it and the outer pods come up a little bit too in headland lift so yeah and then when you're in work position again, you put the tractor uh, remote lever in float and that allows this thing to follow the ground as good as it can. And let me try to find... This thing down here, that white block over there and down here. This whole thing just, it's, it's pretty amazing watching it. The, the angle of the tether will stay at the angle you want it to and, and it'll be going up and down in this channel. Um, they call it the ground save control. And I, I would have to agree, it doesn't, we went to this from a four pod and a six pod tether and both of those if the drawbar height on the tractor was different, you'd have to change the angle of your tether. And if the tractor went in a big hole, then the tether tines immediately hit the ground real hard. And we haven't noticed that with this at all. This, it, it somehow, the angle is independent of the 
pitch angle. So, um, and I believe that's this big spring up here. It tries to just keep tension on it forward. Um, yeah, so now we'll go tend some hay.